Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Aaron the Black Dragon. I'm Jagger and hello. Welcome to more Mario Kart, the series that we used to rant about stuff. What are we gonna rant about today? I don't know, the last time we didn't even know that we were gonna talk about uh, the Mario movie. So who knows what will happen today to pique our interest in talking about. Um, first of all, let's create ourselves a nice cart here again. Because yours is saved in there as is. And I always have to go through and make mine again. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yes. I like that one. Where are the wheels that I always use? There they are. That's perfect. So, we have another DLC stage. It looks like all of them are ready to play already. But yeah, it's still no. These still ones are still not uh, unlocked. Yeah. Is there like an official release date for these or nope. will it just get randomly dropped and they're like, here you go? Yeah, I think I think uh, for the next for the next like two or something, they're probably gonna be like, hi, remember Mario Kart 8? Here's some more DLC card. Um well, courses. <laughs> interesting. Well, we're gonna play the one that's out at this point and we're gonna tackle others whenever they come out. Because Mario Kart's fun. Very frustrating sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It always depends on how many uh, shells you get shoved into your a-hole while you're on top. And that happens, sadly, way too often. Anyway, let's drive. Oh, there's a villager. That was not a good start that I had there. I'm a squid. Always need to remind myself that my drift goes outwards. Hey, there's a Yoshi out there. I thought you wanted to say, always have to remind myself that I'm a kid. Or a, a squid. You know, that's just a difficult thing here. I'm either a squid or a kid. I might be both. I might be neither. Actually, when uh, is Splatoon 3 coming out? Uh, September, I think. Ah, uh, September. Really looking forward to the game already. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Especially, especially since I did not get into Splatoon 2, like, uh, when it came out and all. Yeah, because I think that was when uh, Nintendo decided to make the online mode um, paid. Yeah, something like that, and then I was like, okay, I don't have the resources for that right now, sadly. And so I did not get into Splatoon 2. But I now have... Okay, I'm gonna die. Thank you. But now I have the resources, again, th thankfully, to go and play uh, online games. I actually hit Luigi with that ricochet. That's amazing, I did not see where I was going and that frustrated me. But now I have the resources and I can play online games again and... Like, I mean, with paid online service that is. I was always able to play online games if I wanted to. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to Splatoon uh, 3 in that situation. I will not make it to... I will make it as the as third one though. I feel like I did not get any good items there. I only got blue. Uh, blue I only got blue shells. <laughs> no, I only got green shells. Did not really help me to get Luigi out of the way, even though I sniped him once. Really good. Yeah, there's a few games that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, excited about this year, like Bayonetta 3, if it really comes out that year. Mm. If not, I mean, I'm gonna be fine with that as well. Yeah, I'm also looking forward to uh, Bayonetta 3, uh, Xenoblade 3. Oh yeah, nearly forgot about that one. Um, yeah, Xenoblade 3 will be fun. I'm also hopeful that uh, Metroid Prime 4 will get something shown off, oh, maybe, yeah. maybe, hopefully. Nailed! I have no points. Um. Breath of Fire, uh, Breath of Fire, Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 already got delayed to next year, so uh, yeah, can can't really say anything about that. Yeah. Ooh, I actually did it! I'm amazing. I I'm still hoping that uh, Wind Waker HD and Wild Princess HD 
will come to the Switch. Yeah, it would be a fun this, thing. This year, hopefully. But also, even if they don't, uh, I still have them on the Wii U. Yeah. So, uh, not a big, I, not a big loss. I don't know. I would, just, I would just them. like, I would just like to play them on the on the Switch because. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand that because. On a potential switch port for Wind Waker HD, there would be the opportunity of, for them to add the uh, minimap back to the um, TV yeah. screen. That would and be nice. That's, I think that's the one big thing that bothers me about Wind Waker HD. Like, Wind Waker HD is the factually best version to play that game, but I don't like that it came out during the time where they were like, hey, let's use the gamepad for literally really everything. Yeah. So uh, they did it like that, where they uh, put the minimap to the gamepad, and you can't put it back to the TV screen. Yeah, and that's really. When uh, Trinity Princess HD came out, they were already like, okay, no one likes the gamepad, so let's just put the minimap on top of the uh, on top of the game, on top of the uh, TV screen. Yeah. But also, then again, I think. Uh, 2016 was when Star Fox Zero came out, and that game was like gamepad, gamepad all the way, motion controls, and, and then that, that, that soured it a lot for people. Yeah, I think uh, I think the controls for Star Fox Zero were some of the most criticized uh, aspects of that game. I think so, yeah. And it also didn't help that Star Fox Zero is basically just a remake of Star Fox 64, just with weird controls. Yeah, we actually evened out. Oh, nice. Mm. So we're actually keeping it tight. Yeah. And it also didn't help that they already made a remake of Star Fox 64 for the 3DS. Yeah. It's like... I mean, I understand them having a little bit of a problem with what to do with that series, because aside from it being a space shooter, which I guess they feel like they cannot really do a lot with, which I think uh, they should reconsider a little bit, because I think you can do a lot with that premise, but whatever. Um, I think they feel like they're a little bit stuck with where to go with the series. I think uh, Nintendo just doesn't know what to do with it, and they also probably have the same issue like they have with uh, F Zero, where they're like, we have to do some innovative uh, gimmick with it. You, you don't just Mario Kart is also just a racing game. It is a crazy racing game, yes, granted, but I don't think the formula for Mario Kart has changed that much since. We first got to enjoy the game. There's yeah. a few things that definitely uh, uh, became different over the time, but for the most part, Mario Kart is still the same insane game that it was back then. And uh, yeah, they, there is nothing that you need to do, and F Zero would just benefit from it being an online multiplayer game. That's exactly. literally all you would need to do, and it's exactly innovative already for the F Zero series. So this is why I still kind of, kind of, sort of like to dunk on the, uh, the new Super Mario Bros. Oh uh, fuck you! You stole my coin. Uh, that's why I still kind of like to dunk on the new Super Mario Bros. games because they made like a fuck ton uh, of them, and they just why is there not a blue shell? And they just kind of feel boring. Yeah. I think I think the Switch version of New Super Mario Bros. U. It's the one time I actually regret uh, buying a Wii U to Switch uh, port. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because because I was like, okay, maybe maybe I just wasn't feeling New Super Mario Bros. back when it came out in the Wii U. I want to give it another try, and then it was like, no, the game's wow. just no, the game's just boring. Yes. I, I think Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is way better. Do Donkey Kong Tro Country Tropical Freeze is really good. I it's hate that I ended up in third place again. Oh, oops. So yeah, I'm gonna need you to drop into third place for that so that we can even it out. If you end up in second place, then I think you win that. Oh, don't worry, watch me watch me sucking at the Ninja Dojo because oh. I'm not very good at that. I think that will be the one where we both suck. Yeah. And yeah, also, innovative uh, Pokemon. Game Freak has done the same thing for literal years and uh -huh. it sells like crazy. Yeah. So, like, and I mean, I'm. I love uh, games getting different treatments, making different things. That's something that I love, but honestly, some games just work. Yeah. And they don't need to be super innovative and bring something new to the table every time. Yeah. I, 
I've said this, I've said this a lot um, to when uh, friends, when I was talking with uh, friends about Nintendo franchises and on my Twitter, uh, Nintendo does this, does this thing where they aim for um, innovation a lot of the time, yeah. for better or worse. They and, always shoot it at times. And um, in the case with uh, F Zero not getting any games. It's definitely in, in the case of um, it being for the worst, and arguably also with uh, Paper Mario's direction changing. Yeah. Also, Paper being Mario for the is worst. definitely a game series that has suffered from from them uh, from them from them innovation. Try, yeah, from tra from them them trying to um, reinvent itself. With yeah. It. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think. Uh, Paper Mario Origami King is a genuine, genuinely good game, but I've also seen a lot of people um, bring up some valid criticisms about it. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, I get where you're, I get where you're coming from, and I don't think it's that huge of a deal. But also, I can kind of, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah. But so. also, but also, um, then it's like. Um, Everyone at the grandmother uh, criticized the Mario and Luigi games for feeling kind of samey after a while, and I'm like, do we want the same thing happen to uh, Paper Mario? Yeah. Where people were like, oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't play the 3DS game because they all look the same. Oh my god. And then, and then they turn around and are like, I want Paper Mario to be just like the second one. They should only go Paper Mario games that are like the second one, and I'm like, yeah. you don't realize what you were saying there, right? Yeah. So yeah. But also then the, this is this is the kind of thing where it's like, uh, video games fans don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. And the video game fans also don't know what the fuck they want. Exactly. Because uh, I don't know what I want. I want to be first, and I want you to be third, like you're doing right now. Uh, Amazing! I know that I want the games to be fun. Yeah, 100%. I just want to have a good time with a game series that I enjoy. That is why I'm a fan of the Pokemon games ever since. Because they're comfort food. You know what you get when, when you buy the game. The thing that's different is the story may be bad or worse. I think the best story that you had in the Pokemon game was definitely with black and white. That's just my opinion there. Let's see how the new Pokemon versions will handle the story. I mean, they do look they do look pretty promising from a gameplay perspective. Yeah. From a gameplay perspective, that looks interesting. From the story, we don't know shit. Yeah, they, it's future and past. That's all we can kind of glean from that. They've only shown uh, Pokemon Ayla from Chrono Trigger and uh, Pokemon Giga Chat Me. Yeah. So you, please, future Aaron. Show the picture of um, the uh, Pokemon Violet Professor and uh, a picture of the Giga Chat Me. They look extremely similar. Yes, I actually seen uh, the, uh, someone who actually made the Giga Chat meme uh, with the music and everything, and had had all the different faces from Giga Chat like actually made with the professor and had the music and everything. It looked glorious, and I was like, I did that way more than I should. And also. I guess you, since we're already at it, you could show like the picture of the uh, um, Scarlet Professor and uh, a picture of Ayla from Chrono Trigger, like the party member you get from the uh, Stone Ages. Ah. I think this. I think they also look very similar. Okay, that, that's something I did not see in before yeah. Scarlet. In before Scarlet Professor is like, I'm gonna fight you myself now, and she pulls out the club. That's something I've seen, however. Even though Ayla in the game does not use a club as a weapon, she fights with her bare hands. I mean... We don't know anything about the professors just yet. She might just go wild on you with her bare hands. She might even have bare hands, who knows? Claire, I'm gonna challenge you to a battle. Not a Pokémon battle, though. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Picks up a Pokéball, throws it back, takes off the coat and launches herself at you. <laughs> you know, really excited about those games. And again, just comfort food. You know kind of what you get into. And Not everything needs to be like... Um, innovative and new and different. So I mean, I, lo I love games that experiment around. 
that's what you see me play on like random Sunday when I play different like demos for games and stuff. It's a lot of fun to jump into games that have wildly different ideas than anyone else uh, with a concept that you have seen before, but it's just so different. It's fun to have something like this, but also though, a game series where you can sit down, know what I get and just get to enjoy the stuff that is new, like for Pokemon. I'm always a fan of the new Pokemon designs, for some of them for the better, some of them for the worse, but I'm always looking forward to all of the new monsters in the games. Yeah, seeing uh, what kind of new monsters they added is pretty fun. Yeah, that's also, also <coughs> if I say, uh, think like, yeah, I don't really like the design of that mon, but over time they kind of grow on me. Like, I did not really like Gaborder, Gaborder, Gaborder and uh, the like when I first saw them, but by now I'm like, those are mons, I love them. They're here. Yeah, like. I think um, I think it mentioned when we talked about the um, Hisuian versions of Pokemon for yes. Pokemon Legends, where I'm like, okay, at first they're gonna they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? But then after a couple of weeks or month, you're, months, you're gonna like, hey, I've known you since I was a child, even though you only existed for ten hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you you get used to those. Yeah. Even the only thing that I find sad with the Hisuian versions. At least you could say some of them is. You will never really be able to see them in future games. Except, well, if, except if they do time travel stuff. That's why we have the new versions. Yeah. That's what they can play around with in that case. So yeah, with, get the, the with, the past, with the past and future stuff. Maybe they might also do some uh, space time distortions. Or STDs. I mean, Pokemon lost their STDs. Because Pokemon, 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 Pokemon Legends. Hard. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's that's the cue for us to end this. Yes. But I love the ranting. Especially since the episodes always go a lot longer than the actual courses because we just sit here in the end screen and just talk about stuff. But yeah. Um, this is probably going to be our Mario Kart running gag. Yeah, definitely. But I love it. And since we don't have any DLC stages, we're gonna at one point just play through the normal stages, I guess. Yeah. Because I don't think we really have played through the normal stages. Not really, no. And at one point we could just go and play four rounds, or more rounds, uh, in online. Because the online is still very active in this. It's almost like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch is the best-selling game on the system. Really weird. Must be an illusion. Anyway, the Wii U sold like 10, 10 examples on, on more like, a, like 10, 10 copies on the entire planet. Wow. And then, so nobody played Mario Kart 8 when it was on the Wii U. And then once they brought it over to the Switch, everyone was like, Oh, Mario Kart! I know that! And of course Nintendo doesn't do Mario Kart 9 anytime soon, because why would they? Yeah. I, I think it would be the same if they would still bring out new stuff for Smash Ultimate. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they're gonna do another Smash Bros. anytime soon. Yeah, because they only keep it to one game per system. Yeah. But... And they already... They would keep adding, like... It doesn't have to be fighters, because I know that the copyright shenanigans and everything is a nightmare. But if they would add, like, stages, melodies, and, like, some sort of challenges to the game every now and then, that would be fun. Yeah, but they are already uh, did everything with the fighter pass. Yeah. And so I don't think there will be anything new. If anything, maybe you'll get some more Mii Me Fighter costumes, but I think at best that's gonna be it. I think uh, I think content updates have stopped for Ultimate. Yeah, and, th and th I think they already were like, okay, we're gonna stop now. Yeah, which is something we should also do now. So hope you enjoyed the rant. Tell us how you feel about comfort food and gaming or big innovations. And yeah, have Link driving a bike. That's the most important thing here. He did it before Breath of the Wild. He did Shocker. it before it was cool. Shocker. Google <laughs> Link's a hipster. Uh, no. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Bye.